So HBO's Hard Knocks chose the Raiders for obvious reasons this year. And a lot of people complain that the first episode was a little dull. It didn't. Now, the question is, it becomes in the second episode, how are they going to address the Antonio Brown situation? Because Hard Knocks is selling to you, the consumer, we've got stuff nobody else has, inside stuff. So you can't just not talk about the story in America that people want the inside scoop on. So that's going to be a real thing. How does HBO handle that? Jeff Fisher, when he was with the Rams, he he had some hard knocks experiences. He liked it. He talked about what you can and can't do. In the head coach's office, during the hard knocks, there's a camera up here and a camera over there, and they're both pointed at you. Hey, guys, guess what? I need about five minutes to make some personal calls here, so we give you some time. The camera nods. It turns around backwards, faces the wall, and you got your time. Could you, Jeff, say, I don't want that to make it? Yes. You yes. can. You, I don't want to say I had, had final edit, but I'm going to watch the entire show before the – Anybody else sees it Tuesday night. And, you know, I'm just not, I think we need to protect this information or out of defense of this player, this is just not good. Uh, he also talked about where the the cameras do become fairly invisible after the first few days. You forget about them. Uh, but players sometimes and coaches do play up in the locker room. The cameras are available. We had somebody shoot our meeting for the athletic not long ago. And I will say after about 10 minutes, I forgot the cameras were in there. So picking my nose was really, really <laughs> not uncalled for and, and poor timing by me. Uh, thank God they kept it out. All right. Coming up on Speak for Yourself is John Gruden to blame for all the noise in Oakland. Speak for yourself, coming up next.